Eh, uh, w what's all this about? Uh, uh, hey everybody, uh, Skip Nutby, and uh, you're listening to the Mitten Men. <laughs> the Mitten Men, they, they sure are nice folk. <laughs> Heck, sometime you should look me up. <laughs> you, you get it? It's, uh, it's a pun because I'm above you guys. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, got a cold Molson here. It's called my name. Uh, gotta go now. Hello there, America. It's me, President Bill Clinton. I'm here to give my endorsement of the Mitten Man. They are fine, fine America. <coughs> hey, Hillary, come on. Don't bogart puff puff pass, honey. <laughs> We interrupt your regularly scheduled program for this press conference with the President of the United States. All right now, ladies and gentlemen, let's try and keep this brief. The President is a very busy man. Mr. President! Mr. President! Mr. President! Mr. President! Mr. President! Mr. President, um, I was wondering if we could hear you recite some of, uh, Green Eggs and Ham. I could not, would not, with a goat. I could not, would not, on a boat. Mr. President! Mr. President! Mr. President! Mr. President! Mr. President! Mr. President, Mr. President I would like to know what, uh, your opinions are on, uh, Snowden. Very good question. I'd like to say that there's only one informer I pay attention to, and that's The Informer by Snow. That song is dope. Mr. President! Mr. President! Mr. President! Mr. President! Mr. President! Mr. President, Mr. President um, I would like to know what you think of the allegations that uh, you're out of touch with the American people. I would like to say that's completely unfounded. I think that anyone whose first name consists of both Bar and Rock can still get down. Thank you. Mr. President! Mr. President! Mr. President! Mr. President! At this time, the President will take no further questions. We now return you to your program, Already in Progress. Hi there, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Skip Whipwinger, and due to Detroit currently filing for bankruptcy, I am currently forced to sell the entire town! That means I'm passing the savings on to you! Watch your Lewis Arena, it's yours! For $5.99 and a Fago soda! Like the Detroit Institute of Art, I like art, you like art, hell, even Grandma likes art! Yours for the low, low price of a White Castle slider and a pack of ballpark franks. You like music? Of course you do. Dance the night away at the Motown Historical Museum for $5. That's half the price of admission. By now, you're probably like, Skip, you're crazy. <laughs> well, don't change that dial just yet. If you call in the next 10 minutes, I'll throw in GM for free. That's right, you could own General Motors. Want a new car? You've got 5,000 of them. So come on down to Detroit, Michigan. But just remember, leave your windows rolled up. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me tonight. I would like to take this time to address a very serious issue facing us as Americans. A big, raging, hard problem that would become too long for America to sit comfortably upon. I am, of course, speaking of the Anthony Weiner scandal. 
Now, I would like to say that the wiener has to pull out. Oh, no, no he did I know. I could sell your revulsion. But I really feel that the best alternative at this point would be for Wiener to pull out before he blows his head. I do not feel that Wiener has the proper protection to stay in quite as long as he would want. So there's only one alternative. Now I wish America that there was a magic pill that would allow Wiener to stay in this as long as he wishes, but this is simply not true. Likely, the American people will want to know what the problem is. The problem is not with them. The problem is with that wiener over there. This little wiener has become quite the large wiener because he has had far too much time on his hands. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I'd like to say that Anthony should really watch who he assorts himself with from here on out. Because America, sometimes in the company of the right people, a little wiener can turn into a big prick. Thank you. God, and God bless America. Bless America. Ladies and gentlemen, we present Ohio Josh Presents. This week, ladies and gentlemen, on Ohio Josh Presents, we present to you what it feels like to be a Cleveland Browns fan. Now, say you walk into work one day and the guy two cubicles down from you is going for the same management job as you. You go down there and you try to form a friendship with the guy when he goes... BAM! And he nails you in the fucking nuts. Now you fall. You fall hard. I mean, it's enough that the guy laughs at you, but the whole fucking store sees that shit. So you're like, you know what? You know what? I have got this shit. I got him. And you think about it all night. And you're really methodical about it. And the next day, he comes up to you and he... Damn! He fucking shows you pictures of him fucking your wife or something. And you're like, damn! Dude! I met you like two days ago. What is your trip? I mean, you don't quite understand that one human being would have such hatred for you. I mean, shit! You have never done anything! What is his fucking problem? <sighs> oh! You go home and you watch a ball game to calm your nerves, and you know what? Ernest Biner fucking fumbles on the two-yard line. Today, ladies and gentlemen, on Ohio Josh Presents. Today, we present to you Rick Santorum quotes as quoted by popular pop culture icons. On his wife, done by Mickey Mouse. Ha 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 ha! Oh, when I look at her, I think of how God looks at me. Ha ha! So disabled. On the president, done by Lou Costello. Eh, we know the candidate Barack Obama, what he was like. The anti war government. <laughs> the nip <laughs> Hey Abed On African Americans by Mario Oh no I don't want to make black people's lives better by giving them someone else's body Here we go On left wingers by Mr. Rogers they make it uncomfortable for students who come to Austin to shower at a YMCA. That's right, children. On Rape by Kermit the Frog. Hmm. To accept this horribly created in the sense of rape, but nevertheless gift in a very broken way. Accept what God has given to you. 
great babies! Yay! We now return you to your normally scheduled program. Today, ladies and gentlemen, on Ohio Josh Presents, we present to you Bob Dylan Tech Support. What? Uh, uh, oh my god, what's going on? Is that a dial tone? Uh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm really confused right now. What the fuck's going on? Oh my god, I love blowing in the wind. We now return you to your regularly scheduled program. Go red From the number one trusted news source on the internet, this is Mittenmen News. And now, here's Meatloaf with the weather. Humanity levels are rising. The storm is like a bat out of hell. You'll need an umbrella for work tomorrow. Enjoy it, my friend. Pack a lunch for Sunday. Yeah! Thank you, Meatloaf. You're welcome. <laughs> like zoinks! Today's scoop goes to the national capital! Like wow, scoop! Ever since the government shut down, this place sure is spooky! Ra! Rary! Wow! Would you check out this stack of papers? NSA spying? Drone strikes? Ooh, seems like everybody forgot about that when the government shut down! Rah! Restractions! <laughs> like Zoinks! Scoop! It's a ghost! Run! Watch where you're running! Oh no! Like Zoinks, Scoop! Apparently it wasn't a monster all this time! It was Ted Nugent! Red Rugent? Yeah, you know, that guy who shit his pants so he could dodge the draft! Bro, that's really rocked up! Yeah, you're telling me, Scoop! And here, in his pockets, plans to be president of the United States! Yeah, and I would have gotten away with it too, if it wasn't for you, and your meddling pop! Oh, uh, no Ted, I'd say it worked if you hadn't shit your pants! 
fucking coward. Ha <laughs> ha. Rah! Run a rock up! <laughs> It's all new on ABC this fall with At the Movies with Pee Wee Herman and What's Shaken with Michael J. Fox. All new on ABC.